So what do you do when you see a movie with Genevieve and Naji, Amy Kaike, and Ramsey Noah? What do you think is happening there? They are not doing burial. Definitely not. It's romance. Why is it that where a wife cheats in Nigerian movie, that's the end? You know, I know they forgive. Have you ever seen Hanks Anuku in a romance movie? Let me think. Um, no. If you see that a movie has Clem or Hamizi, Kanayo or Kanayo, Tony Umez, Hey Darling. <laughs> Can you see me? I'm going to read this. Occult. The occult movies. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omo Shadewa. If you are new here, I do makeup videos. I do my makeup and beauty routines in a very lazy way. And if you're all here, thank you so much for um, stopping by once again. This is my second time filming in a week and Lord Jesus, the hand that you used to touch me, keep on using it to be touching me forever. Don't let it stop. Anyway, so today's video, I thought I'd do something fun. Um, I, I thought I'd do makeup and also do something that I like to do that you probably have not seen on this channel before because I really do not share anything outside of makeup. As you may have seen in the title is Nollywood Classics. Oh my God. I love Nollywood Classics so much. For me, it doesn't really matter how long ago or how crazy the picture is on YouTube. I'm still going to watch it. And I feel like we need to have like a streaming service with just Nollywood classics or like with the original pictures. Because the clips on YouTube sometimes, girl, oh my God, the clips sometimes be aggravated by my migraine. I'm watching and I'm like, is that Ulu Jacobs or... Oh, it's, it's Papa Wandi. We need better pictures. So anyways, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking about 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Nollywood classics I think you should watch during this lockdown period. I made sure to cover the classic Nollywood genre, you know, from romance, like we are expert in romance, in Nollywood. Then, um... Cultist theme, a ritualist theme. We are really, really expert on that. Cultist and ritualist. We are the number one in the world. Comedy as well. Our comedy is really, really hilarious. Um, arm robber theme. Uh, there was a phase we had in Nigeria. We had a lot of arm robberies and all of that. The Nollywood at that time also de 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 <coughs> So the Nollywood at that time also depicted what was going on in society. Derrico, one mama movie. The Anini one, so I had to put in some arm robbery as well, and I had to put in some senior babes movie, hey, hey. slangs, insults. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good list. If you haven't seen any movie on this in the past ten years, I think you should revisit. So let's start. Um, to so start off, I will be refreshing my face, and I'll be using uh, this rose water spray. So next I'm going to be using is primer and I'll be using the uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Then I'll be um, doing my foundation as fast as I can and um, the first thing that I'll be doing is highlight just right under my eye. Over here as well. So over here. I need to be on my nose. And then for foundation, I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I use the shade um, Truffle. So guys, the first movie that I'm going to talk about is Glamour Girls. You're going to watch this movie. Girl, use another extra because <laughs> the picture quality is mad. And that's putting it lightly. The Glamour Girls, when Glamour Girls came out, I think this one came out in 1994. Yeah, I was five. My mom would not let us watch this movie. She kept on saying it was, it was not for kids for adults the hype around the movie there was that oh my god there were, there were ladies in the movie there were prostitutes nudity is a lie is a lie there was no nudity in that movie please i remember that in the movie um, we have this benson they also have um ingozi is the um the um gloria anuzi all, all i remembered back then when i was still really young was that it was a movie about senior girls that's what they used to call them then, the senior babes and then when i watched it when i grew old i re i've realize what it was all about there's a lot in the movie I'm, I'm definitely not going to for those that have not watched it in recent times i'm not going to give you spoilers just so if you decide to watch it but just know that 
you're watching a movie with senior girls, the fashion, the looks, the beauty. Um, they had really good dialogue as well. There's fraud, corruption, the prostitutes. Check out this insert of the fashion. Like, can you see the fashion? The swag. <laughs> can you see that? And this slang. I, I remember watching this and this part made me laugh where this woman said, <laughs> What's What's bubbly? Bubbly? <laughs> what the hell is bubbly? I think it's a movie that you should be watch if you haven't seen it in recent times. It's time to watch it again. So definitely check that out and you can leave a comment below after watching it and let me know what you think about it. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my um, under eye and then I'm also going to bronze my face. So to set, I'll be using the Sasha Buttercup. So the second movie I want to talk about is one of my faves because I really, really love this one. It's called Games Women Play. It's a powerhouse of major actresses like the top three of Genevieve. There was a Motala Jaladi, a Kendi, um, there was Stella Damasos. I remember when that movie came out, <laughs> the hustle to watch that movie was real. There is Zach Oji in it. Oh my God, I love Zach Oji so much. There is Desmond Elliott in it. There's um, Bob Manuel in it. I love Mr. Bob. <laughs> Mr. Bob and his phonetics they were showing us games that different women play say for example genevieve wanted to test her boyfriend so she said her friend should seduce her boyfriend elida masters was more or less like a liar she's a fucking liar she's a dirty bitch she's a dirty bitch and she live a fake life she, she lives a fake life okay in that movie omotala was um i think she was like a nerd and she also partook in the games i'm trying not to like say what really happened just in case you haven't seen it and um zach oji was a really really good husband up oh, to the end we don't condone domestic violence here but the slap that he gave the light of muscles christ it was not easy at all but the movie i love this movie so much because of the fashions in this movie genevieve brought it in this movie she really did have her fashions were like top tier fashions fashions that you would still wear today in fact i saw a lot of um shoes that are now back in in, in fashion like the kitten heeled um shoes the square mouth slippers yeah they wore a lot of that let's see um yes like check out the beauty between the two women i mean the beauty look at the beauty oh and then the fashions i was talking about okay, check I'll out this hat okay <laughs> oh boy if you haven't seen this movie you really have to watch it because it's just it's everything and then i really really love this part i love the acting in this part all these three men are just crazy <laughs> just so funny i love the actual uh, the acting in this part that is a lie that is a big fat lie yeah and this movie contains one nollywood element a cheating wife that they cannot forgive is inside this movie why why is it that where a wife cheats in nigerian movie that's the end and i know they forgive so i'm just going to quickly contour my nose and then i'm going to take a big brush and just dust off the powder and make sure everything blends well together and I'm going to spray my face using the Scandinavia setting spray. And while that dries, I'm going to talk about the third movie. Mm. This one is heavy, guys. Yeah. You just imagine a movie with Clarence Chukura in it, with Yukaria in it, Ingozi Zionwin. You already know where I'm going, right? It's a big girl movie. It's a senior girl movie. Abuja Connections, part one and two. Hey! This movie was bad, and it's still bad. Rich girls doing um contracts political stuff do you know what this movie has everything that i look for in a nice chick flick it has fashion it has dialogue let me tell you something this movie if you want to learn how to insult someone this movie play it take your bio and write down the insult and start cramming it the insults in this movie epic the fashion the weaves the swag you know what this movie I'm, I'm just going to show you guys like the first thing the opening scene for you to know what to expect in the movie this was just the opening scene let's see i mean look at clarence chukara's feet so here with the white what hair. is wrong with hey! that ponytail is nasty how dare you double cross my entourage i'm going to your office hey! to you to carry you found ah! clarence chukara came in a white car so Black she had to give them all that 
And what the you hell are you talking about? In a Jennifer, what did you tell video. Senator Mum and oh. Idris about me? Yes. Love it. Look at the makeup. You're an idiot. We all know you carry a cheap eyebrows. Because I cannot have any non starter on your filthy and bloated body. <laughs> now I can see how much you envy my beautiful body. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put the direct links um, to these movies in the description box. Be sure to check it out because some of these movies you might not find them if you just type in the titles. But I didn't work with you. I'm going to do my brows. I'll be using the Bomb Brow Pencil, the Bomb Brow Gel. So for the fourth movie, this is also a senior movie. But instead of senior girls, it's senior what? Senior boys. So wait, if you see that a movie has Clem or Hamizi, Kanayo or Kanayo, Tony Umez, hey darling. Can you see me? I'm going to read this. If you're not yet sure because of Tony Mewes, you know, he likes to do love movies, right? There's AGK Asiebu in it. Then there's Charles Okafor in it. Obviously, you know what this movie is about. Occult. The occult movies. The ritual movies. The cultist movies. They're either using their mothers for ritual or their wives for ritual or their children for ritual. They are experts in it, obviously. Is only rituals that he can do. Abuja Boys, part one and two. I think what, what, what happened was a rich man was driving and then he he splashed dirty water on them and that was when they decided to go and do money. This movie gives us everything about the occult. It gives us the Babala Usi. Oh, Check out the Babala Usi. The head of the ritual organization. Of course it's AGK as well. Of course it is. And how desperate can you be to go and be laying inside coffin? For money. Clemo Amizi is an expert in that. He's always the one laying in coffins, killing his wife for money. And obviously, in a ritual film, there has to be a party that throws dollars in the air. I always love to watch that. And of course, in every occultic, ritualistic movie, they always end up in a hospital at the end. Either they end up in the hospital while the doctor is trying to save them. That's where they will now confess everything that happened. But of course, there has to be the hospital scene. So yeah, I, I really think you'd enjoy this movie. Although you might have to fast forward a lot of scenes. A lot of scenes were just unnecessary. Like too long scenes, like the party scenes, the wedding scene. Come on, <laughs> too long. But yeah, so let's talk about the fifth... <laughs> <laughs> the fifth movie. So now I threw in comedy. Mr. Ibu. Ibu Wani Peking. Ibu Ibu. Thinking about it now. <laughs> Mr. Ibu is a classic. You know, there are some comedies that when you watched when you were younger, you really laugh. And then when you watch that movie again, like when you're already old and you obviously have more sense. So I know you guys funny as before, right? But Mr. Ibu, I think, is still funny too. Mr. Ibu's real name is John Okafo. If you don't know this guy, then who do you know? And then in the movie, it was Mr. Ibu, that was the father, and the child was who? Papa Usita Iheme. They were just nuisances, both father and son. One of my favorite scenes in this movie was. Let me just play this thing. I think um, Mr. Ibu is like a mechanic in this movie, and then his child has been learning or leaving him alone for then. I don't know. Okay. Why they? Father was not around. Papa, as usual, in his stupidity, said he could repair the car. Oh my god. Another thing in this movie that I like is this part where Mr. Ibo came back home drunk and late and his child wasn't supposed to be at home. But the child had come in earlier in the afternoon and he had um, I think he had passed through the window into the bed. So Mr. Ibo wasn't expecting anyone to be home. Okay, so when he got home, Papa had slept on the bed. And because Mr. Abel was drunk, he, he did not even see him. I'm going to play what happens when Mr. Abel finally realizes that there's someone on the bed with him. Hey! 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 Hey!
Oh, 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 yes. And there's an, another part. This part is Papa, actually the really important. Like, this, this is the part it means so the sixth movie that i'm going to talk about is you know i had to throw in action there because people always feel like nollywood we don't have action movies we can't do action movies lies 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 go and watch state of emergency okay really i don't know what you expect if you see say to be pray for us jt tom west god rest his soul ernest asuzu obviously we know it's an arm robber film if not arm robber but kidnappers you really have to watch this movie because i don't want to give anything away but saint to be let's just say saint to be was the good guy it was on the side of the law then jt tom west obviously it is somewhere is always the bad guy god rest his soul is always the bad guy so it's a pretty interesting one i think it was well done it was really really well done it was well produced um it was realistic uh some of the gunshots were questionable generally um the movie was realistic so the seventh movie that i'll be talking about is another action if you see genevieve in a movie you think it's romance right but if they now add hans anuku what do you think it is definitely hans kidnapped genevieve have you ever seen hans anuku in a romance movie let me think um no i don't think so and even if hanks anoku were to stare in a romance movie it would be the togrish type of love strong um toxic love violent kind of love hanks anoku did not outrightly kidnap genevieve but genevieve helped him on the road and he took her hostage i saw something while watching this movie spot the skincare stash by my girl genevieve see let me tell you something there is no Nigerian action movie that is incomplete without a mad, unreasonable shooting scene. Like, you are going to ask after someone. You meet his parents at home. And the parents tell you they do not know where the person is. You brought out the guns. You actually scared them. It's most likely they are telling you. Why kill them? This is what happens in this movie. Just killing anybody okay, okay, and everybody okay. that did not know where Hanks Anuku was. And anybody remotely tied to Hanks Anuku. They were just putting them down. Look at it. And just killing them. Look at the coordinated out, the denim flavor. Look at how uniformed these guys are. You know, you see this kind of guys on the road just pack and surrender because you know what time it is. You know these ones are going to kill you. So just pack and corporate and oh my god they had a party scene like what is a nollywood classic without the classic party scene you know the party where they are wearing and they always wear spaghetti tops or sequin tops with boots anyway so i think formidable force is a good movie that you should definitely watch the action there is unparalleled so the eighth movie that i want to talk about i'm sure you have been wondering where's the romance Nollywood and romance. So what do you do when you see a movie with Genevieve and Naji, Amy Kaike and Ramsey Noir? What do you think is happening there? They are not doing burial. Definitely not. It's romance. One has to be poor. One has to be rich. Genevieve will be in the one in the middle. So obviously Ramsey Noir is not going to be the poor guy. Who's going to be the poor guy? Amy Kiki. He's always the poor guy when it comes to dating Genevieve. So that's kind of what happens in this movie. The title of this movie is um, Passion and Pain it has everything in it campus scenes student holding books on campus but nollywood why do you people like to lie a lot nobody holds books like this in a university shopping scene you know where a guy takes a girl out to shop <sighs> is this one of the things nollywood also lied about like thinking about how many shopping sprees i've been on mm zilch but anyways that happens in this movie classic nollywood scene in the classic nollywood romance as well the poor boy will always come by begging with a nonsense gift look at how they make a cake do you accept this nonsense look at it look at it and it has a really 
good storyline like there's a twist at the end uh it has a really good storyline so you should actually watch that moving on to my lips i'll be using a red lip color i'll be using the jacks matte lip uh matte lipstick this is a nigerian brand and it's in the namesake so the nice movie that i think you should watch um, i wanted to put in a classic through and through it's called diamond ring anyways so this movie diamond ring is the movie that instilled the fear of cultism in me so this movie also has stars it has rmd it has shola Shabawali. it has um, teddy babyface he was like the star of the movie his name is chidi i can never forget he obviously was from a rich family rmd was his dad but he went to university i think uni like then and then the cult guys obviously got him worst thing that they did was they went to rob or raid a graveyard a burial site and then they stole a diamond ring obviously the diamond ring is not a normal ring it's a supernatural something so you can already tell where that goes really really good and um, so just let me talk about this last movie it's number 10 okay so you have sam didi in a movie you have john okafo in the same movie you have gentle jack you have amechi monago you have chibwe talago this is a thievery kind of movie it's the movie with guns and cutlasses it's broken bottles and stuff like that because you know this movie is a vigilante movie sam dede and vigilante movie this movie is based on bakasi boys um, which is um, which was or is i don't know if they're still um in existence but then they were um, a vigilante group. They were operating, I think, out of Onicha or something like that. It was in Anambra State. They were the ones keeping the community safe and together. I've, I've read all these things, okay? So I'm not just racking off my head. And then they did something brilliant and they turned, they reversed the name Bakasi. And that's how we have E Sakaba. E Sakaba Boys, which is the name of this movie. I think the most intriguing thing about this movie was how we heard the story about how there was this prophet would i say prophet like a witch doctor or something like that but he was really really powerful his name is um eddie eddie wagu or something like that they tried to capture him like 13 times and they failed he used to um teleport he used to doffe if you're Yoruba, you understand what i'm saying he um, doffe from one point to another and so he really made this movie popular everyone wanted to watch it it's very gory it's very um, violent for example there was this scene i'm going to pull up that scene where they captured someone and the punishment was that they asked him if he wanted a drink a drink watch give him something to drink no please i will please please, please, please please you can't do this to me please yeah please now I, that was the please. drink yes so we've run through 10 movies 10 10 10 um let me get myself together and then we'll just wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the 10 classics that i ran through yes definitely that's not all the classics that we have we have 50s and their hundreds but you know i can't put all of that in <laughs> one clip um so if you do have other movies that you have in mind please do let me know in the comment box right below and I'll be responding to your replies if you do have any um, movies you want me to check out. And also, even if you have seen any of these movies and you have opinions about them, maybe your favorite scenes or the things you didn't really like or someone's character you didn't really like or funny things, you know, um, please do mention them in the comment box below. I love talking TV or movies in general with people that are watching the same thing as I'm watching. And also, if you like the video, I mean the format of this video, me doing makeup and talking about something completely different and you want to see more of this type of videos, please do let me know if you have any suggestions as well because boy, it's not easy to come up with ideas for content. So thank you guys once again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>